Today we are going to learn how to create a reel in CapCut. This is a more of a beginner's tutorial. So if you're brand new to creating reels and you're like, I want to try this CapCut app, this is the video for you. If you're brand new to creating content, I also have an amazing free guide for you below in the description. You can find the link for it. It is the ultimate content creator's guide. Let's jump into this. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the CapCut app and there's all these beautiful shiny buttons and I know you're going to be like, oh, well, what's this and what's that? No, no, no. We're going to stay focused. Okay. We're going to hit new project. We are just getting a reel done today. And you can go to your library, your photos, your videos, and you can also go to your folder. So see right now I'm in my recents folder. I'm going to click the arrow down and I'm going to find a folder that I'm going to find a video in. Okay. So I am actually going to come down to my sizzle reel folder and grab some videos that were of me on the red carpet. Yes, I was on the red carpet. My husband won an Emmy. No big deal. All right. So if I hit this video, it's just going to open up, which is not what we want. We want to hit the little circle right there and check it. So we're going to hit these little circles and check all the buttons. And we're going to add that to our timeline, right? Now we're just doing a quick edit. There's a lot of buttons here. We're not getting distracted. We're just going to edit this video. One thing I see a lot of new content creators do is they kind of just like leave everything. Like they'll leave like them pushing the button to record or to stop recording, cut anything that is not live action. This is the reason why your videos are not going viral. We're becoming great professional editors today. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll this over to where the action begins. Not me fixing my coat and trying to get my purse together. And my husband's just standing there waiting for me to walk on over. We're going to do right about here, right? When I kind of fill in the frame and what I'm going to do is tap the timeline and you see this white box goes around the video and now I can split it in half and I can tap the first part of it and just delete it. So right here at the bottom is the delete and I'm going to scroll over to about here where I'm looking at camera, not where I start to look down and look weird about right there. Okay. Very cute. Very simple. Now I'm going to hit this one more time, split it. And now I'm going to delete the back, which is all highlighted already for me which makes no sense that I would get out of the, I'd be walking down the red carpet first, then getting out of the limo. So we're going to switch those in a second, but for right now, we'll just go ahead and cut it where I need to. We're not going to see me. Oh my goodness. Look at me trying to get out this car, like an old lady. We're going to scrub it to about there, right there. And I'm going to hit this. I'm going to split it. I'm going to get rid of that first part where I'm struggling to get out of the bus. And there I am and I'm walking towards the red carpet, which is great, right? So we'll leave it about here and we will cut the end of this. Now, again, we got to put this in order. So what I'm going to do is just tap, right? And now they turn into little boxes and I can just drag this one to the front. So now I get out of the limo. Well, it's not really a limo. I get out of the black car. <laughs> and I'm on the red carpet. Oh, and I've noticed my third video that I put in here is on a completely different day. So I actually don't want that video here. So I'm just going to tap it and I'm going to delete it. Now I have my two videos and we're keeping this super simple. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I was tapped into this, I wouldn't see my text button. So I have to hit this top screen again. And now I have different buttons at the bottom, including the text one, right? So I hit text. And I'm going to go ahead and add the text and in here I can write P O V red carpet day. They have a bunch of different uh, styles that it could be in. Right. But here's the thing. These ones with the little, what is this? A little diamond on there. Those are not free. When you go to like export your video, CapCut's going to say, hey, oh, you want to use that little button? Well, that one's going to cost you. So they're going to want you to sign up. So you can use the CapCut app for free and as long as you're not using any of those bonus features, right? But they have so many other ones in here that are cute, that are great. Oh, that's cute. A little red carpet fire. That's cute. Okay, hold on. Now, one thing I am doing here, you'll see it's kind of big. What that's going to do is it's going to hit the text So when I go to upload this video to like Instagram or TikTok or shorts, there's usually text on the right hand side of the, of the screen, some buttons and things like that. And you don't want your text 
to be in that because then people can't read it, right? So I'm going to make this a little smaller so that it doesn't hit that and to make it right in the middle, all right? Um, I kind of, let me do this. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then let's say I want this POV just in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little white button right here, right? This, and I can drag this so it's just in the beginning or I can drag it so that it's all the way and it, it covers my whole video. Now, one thing I wanted to show you real quick is that CapCut is kind of sneaky and they put their little logo here at the end. You don't have to keep that there. What you can do is just split it off and delete it, okay? You're not making them any extra money today. So I have my text on here and now I'm gonna add captions because a lot of people are on their phones scrolling social media with the sound off. I know for myself, I have a daughter who's seven, so I don't always know what people are gonna say on social media. I may not want her to hear it. Also, my husband gets very annoyed by listening to social media in the background. So having the captions on is nice because then I can just read what the person is saying. So if you are actually talking to camera, you definitely want to have your captions on, okay? Go to captions and I'm just gonna go with this default one and I'm gonna hit that. And it does, there we go, get out of there. And I'm gonna generate the captions. So it's generated my captions. Now, if it got a word incorrect, I can just click inside this box and I can go ahead and edit the text there, right? And I'm just gonna click out of this. I'm gonna push the check mark. And so this is a very simple reel. We've edited our video. We've added um, some text to the screen. We've added our captions and we just want to get this going because we're going to rock and roll with our day. I'm going to hit export. So this, this says now save to device. All right. So now it's saved to my device. Now I can upload this to Instagram, TikTok, whatever I want to add it to. I can add that video to that and that's it. So quick and simple. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, it helps me grow. And if you want to learn more from me, if you find me as a good teacher, I also have a course that you can buy. It's called Content Create Her Pro, and it teaches you everything about editing, um, how to shoot better videos, how to post to Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So it's a little bit of everything um, on creating content. It's a great program. You can find more information on that on the link below. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.